Greetings Year 9. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show refraction or bending through a rectangular prism, which I've taken from the top of the box. Uh, and we're wanting to place it in front of a single ray from your ray box and position this slab in such a way that you get a fairly, a fairly um, acute angle. Notice we're getting reflection here, but we're not interested in recording that, just the bending. Uh, and as we've done in the past, we need to trace around the rectangular prism. And we're interested in recording the ray that's coming in and the one coming out. At this stage, we can, we're not interested in reflection this time, just the bending. So we're not going to trace that reflection part. <clears throat> now, removing the equipment, we can now draw in that ray, which we call the incident ray, and the one that's leaving. which we call the refracted ray. And let's make sure I've gone right to the slab there. And then we're going to connect them up in between. And we can see that when the ray has passed from one medium, being air, into the plastic medium, that it's bent. But interestingly enough, it's come out parallel to the way it came in. Now, where to label the angles we're interested in, we need to draw the normal in. So I'm using the protractor to do that, putting it on that spot there, and marking where 90 is, and downwards as well, putting it on that spot as well, and marking where 90 is. And we're not going to draw that line really long because it tends to lead to confusion. We're just going to, there are now the three points that I can draw a line through. I'm just drawing a little one. And similarly, for the incoming ray, I'm needing to put in the normal. Please note how I've positioned the protractor, marking 90 at the top, positioning it again, marking 90 at the bottom, giving me now three points through which to draw the normal, but again, I'm not going to draw it long because that tends to confuse people. I'm just drawing a little short one. And we'll put the little right angle sign in there um, uh, to show that um, it's the normal. So when you draw a line that's 90 degrees to something, it's called the normal. Now, this angle of incidence is in fact this angle here. And usually it's got an I for angle of incidence. So that's what I'm interested in measuring. And the angle of refraction would be this angle here. The angle between the ray coming out and um, the perpendicular line or the normal. Now to measure the values of those, then we would have to put our protractor in this position making sure you've got the cross right on that point there. And we're counting back, put it back again there, we're counting back this way. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 54 degree angle there that I've drawn. And that that is the value for the um, angle of incidence and similarly if I want to value for R which is the angle of refraction I would place the protractor in this position the cross being right on that spot there and I'd count back 10, 20, 30, 40 I'm doing it right 10, 20, 30, 40 uh, uh, 50 50 degrees and that's your 
um, diagram complete, let's just check we've got our labels right. So drawing the line 90 degrees to the slab is called the normal. The angle of incidence is the angle between your incoming ray and that 90 degree line. Your angle of refraction is the angle between the ray coming out and the 90 degree line. The incident ray is the name given to the incoming ray and the refracted ray is the name given to the ray that's leaving. Thank you for listening.